we talked about yesterday, 9-9, 9-8, guys, you the record, 9-9, one of. Mm -hmm. that, that's one of my favorite videos of I you, I did tie actually. that calf really fast. It's quick. But. Two wraps, too. One of my favorite sayings is, you don't win with your string, you lose with it. I mean. So what do you win with, then? <laughs> everything else. Everything else? My opinion. I mean. Coming out of the box. The next shot, the flank, the go. Hitting the, the barrier. Yeah. I mean. If you string the calf, put the legs up there, and go one, two, three, every time all year, it's not gonna lose you money. Mistakes, you don't make, you don't win with your string, you lose with it. I don't know, if that's how I believe. But Hermes in Oregon, I messed up. I didn't tie very good. I didn't cross very good. Got kicked because of it. Um, Caldwell, I tied really bad for probably four or five thousand. Uh, can be yeah I remember can be so really this is last month yeah because before that you were killing it because you're you can't you couldn't have got the record yeah, for sure. time bad and even before that you were on you were so really this last month yeah for sure hasn't been good <laughs> but I'm gonna say yeah probably 20,000 with my string which what about misses Missing hasn't really cost me. Some berries have Which cost is me. good. Yeah. My dad was actually saying that he thinks that's the biggest thing from last year to this year. Is it doesn't seem like you ever missed. Because you told me you missed. And I was like, since I've been there, you told me you missed four times this year. But I was mm -hmm. like, that's the first time I think he's missed that I know of. Yeah. In the last like six months. Yeah. What do you say? He's like, yeah, no. That's the biggest thing that changed from last year to this year is you just, you just don't miss no more. Yeah. And giving yourself simple, opportunities yeah simple math you catch more than you have better more chances even even if you don't even tie as good as you want because you get a time a lot of times you get in that bottom hole and, and stuff like that and average rodeos you stay in it yeah, yeah. And that's the thing in caldwell i followed my second one and followed in this round but i was still getting paid you know i mean yeah so i don't know man i mean it's just uh what was your what was like you can't do terrible and be you know where I'm at but I just I think like Steph Curry talks about working on your strengths and I think that the last couple years I haven't worked as much on my strengths because my my strength has always been tying flanking and tying and my flanking and tying has been average this year my scoring has been great horses have been great next shot's been great goes have been really good flanking and tying has been or you're tying six, <coughs> six out of ten well, before I've, this past month, the was, last five years, I think I've made as many mistakes tying as I have this one year. Yeah, that, that's a pretty stark picture for sure. Yeah. What about the last month though? Like before, the before last this month is seventy-five percent of them. Yeah. Yeah. Eighty percent of them probably. <clears throat> it is what it is, but. What do you think? Top top five moments. If you had to pick top five, what would show your top five moments? You can go ever. No, 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 no. This season. Like, the coolest run you made, the coolest moment you made, like, mm -hmm. like that was freaking, I I impressed myself with that, or that was big, that was a clutch moment, <sighs> like, whatever. When you think of your top five um, of this year, this season, what would it be? That, uh, I mean, obviously the American, the Final Four run at American. Um, that was a big, that was a big run in the, in the final four at Pinoco. Uh, that was a big run at Cody. Which the Pinoco one is crazy because literally nine flat, nine one point one seconds. Yeah, nine two would have won third and not nine flat one first. And your go is what got you that. Yeah. So literally start was amazing i thought you broke it yeah even the like, announcer thought you broke it yeah everyone did the whole crowd was like silent they didn't even cheer it. because yeah. they was like they what broke it yeah well what about this crowd in piala they're into it yeah, it was pretty packed last night it was and they were loud when jay Pratt got up I mean, they, they went crazy bro they yelled for old for jay Pratt for sure yeah. That's only three. What's two more? Um, <clears throat> uh, da, 
It's crazy. I'm looking at this list, and you can see I wrote down how much I wanted each rodeo. And probably the best run I made all year was at Lovington. See how much that paid. Was that? I wasn't at Lovington. 131 dollars. Why was it the best run you ever made? I mean, I had a strong calf. Reached about halfway down the arena, got it, jerked him down, flanked Rappin Hui A5. Like, one of the better, best run, probably top three run I made all year. It was worth $130. That's what's hard for people to understand about this sport. Is it's not about the crazy stuff, it's about just consistency. You know, when you run the right calves, making the good run. Because that was not the right calf to win big on at that rodeo. I made an amazing run and only got paid $130. If you make a okay run on a great calf, it could have won, you know, eight, six, eight thousand. I mean, you know what run I liked? Press, uh, Prescott, Prescott, the first one that was kicking, straining. Yeah, those are those are big runs to me because, you know, it ends up being worth thir what thirty five hundred in the average, you know, whatever twenty five hundred in the average because, you but you don't think that that right then when you're eleven seconds, you don't think that you think it's too long, but. Just staying in it and tying them down. I mean, you had another one like that. Oh, my second one at Prineville, Oregon. Yep. That was that was pretty legit. Yeah. I mean, I I feel like I watch majority of the guys. Maybe it's just the calves I've seen because like, a lot of times the way the calf, the legs come and the way they kick. Mm -hmm. There's so many variables, but like the way, like the the Prescott run. Yes. That I feel like you've done that five or five to ten times. Yeah. Perfectly. Right. When the calf strains, yeah. and most guys would want to repitch. You can't do that. Yeah. You like. Gotta keep fighting, pushing. And then you do that. Yeah. That's like my. I think. I mean, not your best run. But I'm my better. Fa my favorite yeah, runs that yeah. you've made. I'm better than most guys at that. But the best guy at not getting kicked is Shane Hanchi. Like he's so good at like when he crosses it and they want to kick like he'll be easy easy with the legs then when he feels them give them to him phew, then he puts them up there like when i feel him kicking a lot of times just like most guys i'll put them up there and they're pushing and i'm fighting and i do a good job of pushing through and fighting and, and you know and getting it finished but he's so good at like patient patient and then go you know what i'm saying so, so when you say like he literally just wait but i have a video from nampa of him like he steps out with his leg this is his leg he steps out Calves kicks, kicks, kicks. He waits, 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 and then right when she quits kicking, whew, boom, boom, nine flat. I unbelievable. Let me see if I can find the video. Because in my mind, I'm wondering if he's waiting as long as we're making it sound. No, no. But like obviously in real yeah. time, it seems fast, but the same. It's like hard to. Yeah, it's hard to. From a competitor standpoint, like I'm waiting to like yes. my perspective. Yes. What it actually? I mean, surely I'll be able to notice it. I mean, it's nine, nine two. I'm sorry. Strong calf. Watch him kick. Watch. Yeah. So I mean, but it doesn't look like he's wait. So okay, okay, I got it. Because right there, I right see there, when that calf's top leg is up. If he just tries to look, you see how he wants to kick. Then he waits. Boom. In my mind, when I see that happen, I always thought the calf was fighting so hard he couldn't. No, but he was—he's he's doing that on patient. purpose. Yeah, he's being patient because the calf, when he's fighting it like that, if you just put him up there, top leg goes in your in your face. He's weights, amazing, dude. I got you. Unfreaking believable. Like right there. Okay, just watch this calf stop leg right there. Kick. Tries to bring up kicks, and then right there, he sees it settle. Right when that calf settles, that leg right there, boom. Um, and then he's so good that he can be that patient and then put a wrap in a hooey. Watch. <laughs> when you watch it, when you broke it down like that, like you watch it, we would just watch it yeah. three times, you can see how he goes like that. Bro, that is what you think of like a basketball player, like the level of patience. Yes. Like I'm at, it's actually registering my mind right yeah, now. Like the different. How impressive that is. Yes, the levels. Oh, it's, it's unbelievable because like just like when I played basketball, I was so good at going fast, and not many guys could stay with me. But if I ever got somebody that was quick enough to stay in front of me, hesitations and stuff the, like that, uh, was a, the change of pace. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like a guy like Luca is so hard to guard because of his pace. 
you think about a guy like Shane Hanchy. Imagine doing that in the NF in the Thomas and Mac with thirty thousand dollars or average money online or yeah. second third place. <coughs> be, like I want like the level like your that's internal why, clock is beating like. And that's why Shane Hanchy is Shane Hanchy though. Is it doesn't matter if he's at the jackpot for five hundred dollars or at, for thirty thousand at Thomas and Mac. He's the same same roper. That's what makes him him. Wow. In my opinion, I mean that's what I'm trying to mold myself more is. Like, yeah, it's good to be able to go fast, but he's the same all the time. On a good calf, he's going to be fast. On a strong calf, he's going to be as fast as he can be. Like, he's just, he's like Rain Man. My dad always tells me, like, you need to be like Rain Man, just a machine, a robot. But that's not, that's, every calf roper should desire to do that, but then you look at you like, <clears throat> I'm trying to think of, like, an explosive player who does some, crazy explosive plays a lot right but then like you're like uh like john moran or like a i don't, I don't know it's an analogy but like yeah. you think of somebody who does something like explosive creative like yeah. you can't consistently do that if no. that makes sense like you like for example like like if you would have pulled off that flank at Greeley when the when the calves oh yeah that would have been ranked but no one would have even had the balls to try that bro no. they would have for sure yeah. turned him around but you yeah. just went for it i mean weston actually weston's tried it a few times you know weston, weston will try stuff like that he's so strong but okay. yeah i mean but like your explosiveness and your like hey, i'm not saying he's not explosive i'm saying no, i think I your your style of calf roping is guns blazing it is, and yeah. that's gonna win you win win you money when other people wouldn't have won money that's true and you could lose you money when other people wouldn't lose money it's true if i can just if I can get 90% right there, I think 88%. Yeah. I think like last night I would never miss my hoodie if I wasn't going just a tick too fast. You know. But it says something too. We're talking about Hanchi. Hanchi had Riley Webb's six six calf from yeah. a different rodeo, and it's like, what did he say? He's like, how do you forget how to tie? Yeah. When it or whatever. Han we're just talking about how good Hanchi is, and Hanchi messed up. No, everybody makes mistakes, for but sure. But it's a high-pressure moment. Yeah. I mean, Piala, Piala, big. Yeah. you know, it's like... But it's overall, for the, for the course of his career, to make 14 straight in FRs, I mean, he's pretty great at not making those mistakes. I mean, it's just... That's one thing I'll say about Riley for this year is uh, there's not been a week where I was like, oh, he's he looks bad. You know, like... Every other roper has rope has been off at some point, but he's been on all year. He there was a stretch. Um, Where well, he didn't win as much. In July, he didn't yes, win as much. But he wasn't roping bad. And he wasn't. <laughs> wasn't he wasn't roping bad, and he still was winning a little bit. Yes. He's amazing. And he turned it on in August, didn't he? What did mm -hmm. he win? What did he win that? Because he was at two hundred three, two hundred eight. He was at two hundred eight for a long time. He just won a bunch right there. He won Tremont and, or no, I'm sorry. He won Bremerton and Kennewick same week. That was 15,000. Yeah. Well, pretty good stuff, buddy.